Hello my lovelies, it's Mio here and today I have another tutorial for you. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different and I'm going to show you how to paint these really cute characters on these fake Converse shoes. You don't really need Converse shoes, you just need a pair of canvas shoes. As you can see here, I painted two characters from the EXO Korean boy band group. My favorite character is actually Baekhyun because it sounds a lot like bacon. But you can paint whatever character you want, I'm just going to show you guys the process of how I created this. This is such an easy project and a great way to express yourself, so I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. And of course, for more videos like these, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, if you want to preview my future videos, you can always go over onto Instagram and follow me there and you can get a preview of all my tutorials to come. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this tutorial started. You will need to start off with a clean pair of canvas shoes. It really doesn't matter what type of brand or what shape, just something that you're happy with. And I tried to pick a color that was really light and the white color seems to look like a blank canvas to me. There are different types of canvas shoes and really you want to find one that has the most amount of space for you to express yourself. So if you have the high tops like the Chuck Taylor ones, those are actually perfect. As you can see here, the tallest part of my shoe is actually the center of the shoe. And what I'm doing is taking a pencil and I'm outlining the drawing. You can really draw and create whatever you want on your canvas shoes. I think the best tip I can give you guys is to make sure the largest part of the picture goes on the largest part of the shoe. So as you can see here, I said the middle part of my shoe has the most canvas, so I centered the picture of my little chibi character near that area. I didn't want to put it in the heel or the toe of the shoe. I really wanted to maximize the space. To help me draw these characters on the shoe, I actually looked at a lot of pictures online and picked out my favorite fan art drawings. And the nice thing about using pencil is that you can always use the back and erase whatever mistakes you have. Once you're happy with the outline of your drawing, it doesn't need to be perfect, but you're going to start painting. And you can use different media to paint your shoes. You can use fabric markers. I bought a bunch of these a long time ago, and they're just felted tips and they have nice, good precision without making a huge mess. Or you can go down your local craft store and you can buy the scribbles, which is pretty much fabric paint that comes in a squeezy tube, and you can mix and match all the different colors. I'll say that fabric markers are very easy and convenient to use. If you don't have fabric markers, honestly, you can use different types of media. So even a Sharpie would be appropriate for this project. Odds are you're not going to dump your shoes in the washing machine, but in case you walk in the rain or a puddle of mud, you want to use something that won't bleed together and mess up once it gets wet. So fabric paint is probably something that I recommend for you guys, but you can use whatever media you want. And as you can see here, I spend most of my shoe painting it with fabric paint. I think using the traditional paintbrush with some fabric paint is by far the cheapest and easiest method to paint my shoe. But of course, if you have a bunch of fabric markers and all the colors you need, by all means, use whatever it is you have at home. What I love about painting shoes is that the paint comes off really opaque, so it's very forgiving. If you have a mistake that you kind of want to redo, you absolutely can. Just paint a different color right on top of it. Furthermore, when you use paint, it's so opaque that the color is just incredibly rich. And you can always mix the colors to the color that you desire. So for example, I don't have any pink fabric paint, but I went ahead and mixed some white and red fabric paint together to make the shade of pink that I actually like. My other general tip is to use all your light colors before you move on to darker colors. So as you can see here, I like to paint the rest of the shoe that requires beige and light pinks first before I move on to dark colors like grays and dark browns, especially when I start outlining the character. So once I've painted everything into the solid base color, I go in with some black paint to outline everything really nicely. Outlining your character is by far the most important part and the most time consuming part. So for better precision, I actually use a toothpick because it will give me a finer line and even though it takes longer, I think it's the best way to actually paint your shoe. And as I said earlier, you can always change up the colors on your shoe. So I decided I wanted to give my character a little more highlights because Bakyan seems to have really glossy, beautiful hair. So 
I actually colored the hair a little bit lighter brown on the very top so it gives it a little more dimension. After taking a lot of time to outline my character, I'm now ready to move on to other parts of the shoe, which is to label it. I went ahead and wrote Bakyeon's name in Korean and in English, in case those people don't know what my drawing is. And I really wanted a very simple design, so after I completed that, I decided on the back to write the name of the boy band group, add a few little symbols, and this is what my shoe looks like when I'm pretty much done drawing and coloring things. I also decided that I wanted to change the color of my shoe. EXO wears a lot of dark grays, black colors because it's kind of a street theme and they look really cool. So I decided that I really wanted to paint my entire shoe the color gray, but I didn't want the whole thing to be gray. I wanted my characters and my words to be outlined in white so it actually will pop out more. So I painted everything else around it this nice gray color. And as you can see around my character and my letters, there's this nice white rim of whiteness so it emphasizes everything on my shoe. And this is what the other side of my shoe looks like. I decided not to paint another character. I really just wanted the name of the band to keep things a little more simple. So after I'm done painting everything gray, this is what my shoe looks like so far. Initially, I was going to leave the tongue of my shoe white and just put black laces and I thought that would be a really nice accent to have, but in the end, I decided it would be much cooler to paint the tongue of my shoe a different color and just have regular white laces. That would keep me from having to buy new laces. So this is what my chibi characters look like. They actually remind me a lot of the Korean K-pop star socks that you used to be able to buy on the subways of different characters. I just love how it turned out, and as you can see, I did Bakyeon and Chris. And I decided to paint the tongue of my shoe a black color and I think that will make my white shoelaces pop out a lot. I recommend you guys to not paint the tongue of your shoe until the rest of your shoe is painted and nice and dry. That way it's much easier to just paint the tongue of the shoe because it gets caught in different areas and you don't want paint to be all over your shoe. So this is what it looks like so far. I'm going to go ahead and put some shoelaces on it. And this is how I decided to lace my shoes. I thought this looked the cleanest and nicest way. And pretty much my shoes are all done. Now you can decorate your shoes however you want. If you want to add some sequins, some bling, glitter, whatever it is you want, you can absolutely do. I just decided to paint them and keep them simple. I think these shoes turned out so adorable and they're so unique and personal to me that I love them so much. If you guys enjoyed this video and tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Of course, you can check out my Instagram username. It's Flying Mio. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this inspired you guys to create something really incredible on your own. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye!